I'm the fanfic critic. I read it. You listen. I know that in my last review, I reviewed one story that involved the Trix Rabbit. Well, in today's review, I'm going to be reviewing another story involving the Trix Rabbit. Today's fanfic is called Who Framed Roger Rabbit Again? The Trix Rabbit Takes Revenge. Why do they always have to attack the Trix Rabbit? Why do people hate him? I love the Trix Rabbit. Leave him alone! Why do you have to make him evil? Ay. Okay, today's story is kind of special because, you know, it's not on fanfiction.net and it was actually sent to me by a message from YouTube. The author is horror fan, whatever the number is, I'm just going to call them horror fan. And what I did, I just pretty much copied and pasted the message into Microsoft Word. Which actually is a good idea, if you think about it. Because Microsoft Word highlights all the mistakes and stuff, so it'll be a little bit easier for me. I didn't modify the story in any way, shape, or form. I technically could if I wanted to, but I didn't. Because, you know, I want to read it as it was written to me. So the most I did was copy and paste it. Okay, so... The story is called Who Framed Roger Rabbit Again? The Trix Rabbit Takes Revenge. It's rated PG. So let's get started. Once upon a time in Toontown, on a bright and sunny day, Roger Rabbit was waking up from a restful night's sleep. He went down to the kitchen to eat some breakfast with his lovely wife, Jessica. Jessica had made him carrot waffles, his favorite breakfast meal, especially drizzled with carrot sauce with a side of carrot juice with lettuce on top. Jessica, good morning. Whoa, whoa, wait. This is supposed to be in script format? It, I mean, when you first start reading, it doesn't seem like it's, it's in script format. But, okay, people, when you write in script format, you have to, like, I don't know, make it more believable. Like, if, for those who have seen a script, you know how you have, like, the words in italicized, like, describing the scene and stuff and how the setting is. I mean, you should try doing that in script format stories. This story, when you first start reading, it doesn't seem like a script. Also, another problem with this story, before I continue to read, is there is no spacing between the paragraphs. Well, not in the beginning, at least. As I continue to scroll down, at some point there is more paragraph spacing, thank God. But the first chunk of the story, there's, like, no paragraph spacing whatsoever. Yeah. So, people, you need to think about how your layout is before you publish something on the web or publish in general because, you know, if you have it in a atrocious layout where you it's hard to read, then, you know, no one's really going to read it. So let's continue. Jessica, good morning. There's no period at the end of that. There should be a period at the end because good morning is a sentence. Roger Rabbit, good morning. Well, I'm going to work. That should be broken up into sentences. It should say good morning, period. Well, I'm going to work, period. The only punctuation in that sentence is the apostrophe for the word I'm. Jessica, well, goodbye, dear. Roger headed off to work at Maroon Cartoon Studio as the star of his own cartoon, Roger Rabbit. He pulled into the parking lot and walked up the alley to the door. Before he got to the door, he saw a shadow run down the alley. The shadow started moving towards him and then called out for him. Shadow, Roger, Roger Rabbit, over here, I want to talk to you. Roger, who's there? Shadow, coming into the light. It's me, the Trix Rabbit. Roger, oh, hi, Trix Rabbit. What are you doing here? Now, before we get any further in the story, there are some things you should know about the Trix Rabbit in case you don't know his history. For years, the Trix Rabbit has been devoting his life to trying to get Trix cereal, but time and time again, numerous kids have spoiled his plans, torturing and taunting him with the one thing he wants the most and the one thing that he has never been able to get. No one will, I'm sorry, no one ever knew how much this really bothered him. They thought it was harmless teasing. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids, tricks are for kids, tricks are for kids, over and over again. This had nearly driven the poor tricks rabbit mad. Okay, that was nice for that little backstory, but you technically do not need it. You don't. Let's continue. Little did Roger know, the Trix Rabbit was out for revenge, and that revenge included Roger? Trix Rabbit, hey listen, I have a good idea. How about we switch places for a day? You look like you could use a day off, and I would love to try to get into TV acting. 
we look enough alike and no one would ever know. Roger. Oh, uh, well, I don't know about that. This is my job, and I need to take it seriously. Trix Rabbit. But just think what you could do with the time off. You could finally plan that special day you wanted for your lovely wife Jessica since you've been so busy with work, and she doesn't get to see you much anymore. I heard her talking with Bugs Bunny a while back. You know he's retired and has lots of time on his hands to make the ladies happy. I wouldn't want to see you so busy with work that Jessica thought she needed to get some attention from another rabbit. Roger, really? My Jessica was talking to Bugs Bunny? Oh my, I guess I haven't been giving her as much attention lately. If I had a day off, I could plan a very special night for the two of us, or maybe even a romantic vacation. I just want to say one quick thing about Bugs Bunny. He's not retired anymore. In fact, he got a makeover. Let's see what he looks like now. God, what did they do to you, Bugs? You look deranged. I want the old Bugs back. I want the old Bugs back! <laughs> Enough with that, though. Let's get back to the story. Trix Rabbit, see? Yes, I think this is just what you need. And don't worry. I've been working commercials for a long time. You don't need... I... I for how they... This is how they pretty much spelled long. I can understand maybe doing the low, the O's like that to emphasize them saying long, but you don't need two G's. You don't need two G's. You don't. Let's continue. So I can do great job acting for you and no one will ever know you were gone. You can trust me. So Roger walked back to his car and set out to plan the perfect date for his beautiful wife. So the Trix Rabbit went into Roger's dressing room and went to work. First he put on makeup and Roger's overall. Okay. Um, you should have an apostrophe S for Roger's. Yellow gloves and blue tie. But then he forgot one thing. He looked at his ears, which were all white. Wait, wait. Which were all white. It should say white. And this is how they spelled it. Replace the A with an I and you get white. But the inside of Roger's ears are pink. So he got some pink paint and painted the inside of his ears. Then he took a red wig and started to cut it in a way that Roger has done. Trix Rabbit. Good. Now for my plan to get my revenge. Ha 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 ha. RK Maroon. Okay, Roger. You are needed at the set. Trix Rabbit. Okay, boss. Director. Okay, Roger Rabbit, we are going to be busy today, so no goof-ups, okay? They have today written out like this. It's supposed to be one word, not two. Ah, oh, boy, boy, boy. Let's continue. Trix Rabbit. Okay, don't worry, I'll do a good job. You can trust me, heh heh heh, sucker. That needs to be broken up into more sentences, and the OK at the beginning of the sentence should be capitalized. Well, not the K, but you know, you know. You want to know what happened next? Well, I'll tell you. As the director send action, it was like this. One. He cuts the rope, and all the lights came crashing down. Don't you mean down? Two. He tears up the scripts. Three. He did some stuff that wasn't PC. What do you mean by wasn't PC? Don't you mean wasn't PG? And well, let's just say that the stuff that he did would have been okay on Comedy Central or Adult Swim, but it's not okay if you're in a kid's show. That's a no-no for tunes. And I don't think you need a comma for no-no. It's supposed to be like no-no with a dash or hyphen separating it. That's when director said, cut, 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 what happened here? As he looked at what he had left on his set, his face turned blood red. Then he looked at the camera crew and they were either injured or dead, but mostly injured. This made the director really, really mad. Director, that's it. I'm going to tell RK Maroon and he will fire you, Roger Rabbit. Trix Rabbit. Good, now my work is done. Now I'll go and plan the next part of my revenge. All kids won't all kids won't like him anymore and will have no choice to give me the trick cereal. Then he disappeared into the night. 
Well, back at Roger Rabbit's house, Jessica and Roger were watching TV, and it was a soap opera called All My Bunnies. Heh, <laughs> cute. Jessica liked the show while Roger cared like a baby. Roger cared like a baby? Does he care for the show like a baby? I don't know. Let's continue. Roger sobbing. I can't believe that stepdad doesn't want the kids. It is just awful and it's just sad. Okay, you should have believe instead of belief in that sentence. Jessica, I know, dear, but it was just a TV show. None of it was real, okay? Roger, okay, I believe you, but the characters were real, right? Jessica, yes, but the story wasn't real. Roger, okay, I believe you. Can we please watch some more cartoons, please? Jessica, yes, we can. Can we watch Disney's Bonkers on Toon Disney? Please! He did that a lot in the movie, so I'm just... Jessica, yes we can, and then we will go upstairs and play Patty Cake. Which, for those who are not familiar, Patty Cake is the tuned version of sex. Roger, who who? Okay, before I go any further, I just want to clear something up. Even though Toon Disney has been canceled from TV... From... Wait a minute, what? Even though Toon Disney has been canceled from TV, don't you mean from TV? Apparently in Toontown, Toon Disney is still on. So, okay, well, anyway, okay. People, please do not interrupt the story with pointless little author notes like this. I mean, it's in the middle of the story, for God's sake. Don't have it in there. You don't need to have it in there. I mean, we can just assume that, you know, Toon Disney is on in Toontown, because that makes sense. Let's continue. So, okay, well, anyway, after that, Roger and Jeff Jessica played patty cake, and then they went to bed. The next day, Roger Rabbit got up and ate some breakfast when the phone rang. Don't you mean when the phone rang? Or when the phone rings? Jessica, hello, oh, hi, yes, all right, I'll tell him goodbye. This is what that sentence looked like. This is how it should be written. Let's move forward. Roger. Good morning, Jessica. Who was that on the phone? And actually, it's not even a question. They just kind of stated. Let's continue. Jessica. Hi, Roger. That was your boss, R.K. Maroon. He said that he would. They used the wrong would. They used this would. Would have a word with you about something, but he didn't say what it was, but it sounds serious. Wrong it's. Roger. Okay, I have to go now, but when I come back, I will go out to dinner and, m and movies by now. That could have been broken up. Well, as Roger Rabbit was walking to the studios, he was thinking of a way our kid... Wait a minute, what? Well, as Roger Rabbit was walking to the studio, he was thinking of a way R.K. Maroon want to see him for... What? It should say thinking of why, not way. And the sentence, okay, the next sentence is Roger Rabbit thought about it, blah, 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 but where it says for, there's no period, so it just, I don't know. You need your punctuation marks, people. Roger Rabbit thought about it, maybe it was a promotion or a raise, yeah, that's it, a raise or a new show, or maybe he got Disney to bring back to Disney. Yeah, that's it. Roger Rabbit is finally going to be on Toon Disney when it comes back on the air. That must be it, thought Roger as he went to R.K. Maroon's office. Wow. Let me show you that entire paragraph. Here it is. You notice that there's no punctuation until the very end, so technically that entire paragraph is a sentence. That's why you need to break up your sentences. Sentences should not look like paragraphs. Let's continue. Roger, hi boss, what's new? 
RK Maroon, Roger, I know that you sometimes make mistakes, but yesterday it was a disaster, and let's not forget that you ruined my set and made all the parents mad, and they're going to call the FCC if I don't do something about it. Roger, B -b -b but boss, I was home the whole time. Please, boss, you have to believe me, please, I didn't do it. RK Maroon, I am sorry, Roger, but I have to do this. Roger, you are fired, and I'm canceling your show. Roger, what? No, you can't do this. Give me one more chances. Don't you need one more chance? Please! Okay, Maroon. I am sorry, Roger, but I want you out of here now, and I mean it. So, Roger went outside unfertile. Unfertile? What do you mean by that? That he's not pregnant or something? Okay, let's continue. It was raining out there. Poor Roger. He lost his job and his show was canceled. And all he needs to do, and all he needs to, is drown his shrouds in beer or coke. In his case, it was Coca-Cola. So he went to the bar where he saw all his friends. Let me show you that paragraph. And let me show you one of the words in that paragraph that he spelled wrong. It was supposed to be sorrows, but this is how they spelled sorrows. This is how it's supposed to be spelled. Um, I'm sorry, spelled. You need to check your grammar and spelling. Well, all the cartoons were there, like Fairly Odd Parent characters and all the kids, WB characters, Adult Swim characters, and even South Park was there too, and even Nostalgia Critic and Angry Video Game Nerd was there too. They are not cartoon characters, in fact they are real people so they should not be in this fanfic! Roger Rabbit. Hey Dolores, give me a coke please. Vicky, hi Roger, I'm sorry, but Dolores isn't here right now. She had the day off and now she's at Eddie Valiant, Valiant offices and she asked me to fill in for her, so what's your story? I'm not even gonna, let's move forward. Roger, well, as I, well, as must know, I got fired from my cartoon, Vicky. Well, I'm so sorry to hear that, but that's life, you know, but hey, wrong hey. At least, at least, you can spend how day with your wife? How day with your wife? Oh my god. <sighs> I'm plus. Roger Rabbit. Well, I have it told her yet, but I don't know if I shod. What do you think, Vicky? Vicky. Oh, and they don't even have a colon there anymore. Well, I don't know, but maybe you can ask the South Park characters. Roger Rabbit. Okay, I will. So South Park characters shod, shod, shod? Don't you mean should? This is how they spell should. That's not how you spell it. Should I tell my wife or not? Carmen. No, I won't do it. Well, if I were you, I would lie to her. That's your best bet. Stan, what? No, Carmen. He he does not have to lie to get Rod... He does not have to lie to her, Roger. I think you should... Why do they keep on spelling should like that? Oh, this is why you need to check your grammar, people. This really is why you should. Tell the truth. Girls love it when you tell the truth. Well, tell that to Robin on General Hospital when Patrick told her that he cheated on her. But then again, I think she would have been more angry if she had found out some other way. Whatever. Kyle. I agree with Stan. Jessica will understand if you tell her right, Kenny. This is how they spelled right. Kenny. Hmm, 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 hmm. Kyle. No, Kenny. I don't think that Roger wants to do that. Stan. Yeah, dud. That, that is just sick. Carmen. Kenny, you are so stupid. Roger would... They used the wrong wood again. Never stoop that low. I still say he should lie to her. 
Roger Rabbit. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should. What do you think, Stewie and Brian? Stewie, lie to her, man. You can do it. I did it with my girlfriends. Brian, yes, yeah, Stewie. How mining girlfriends have lasted that long. Hmm. Stewie, well, there was Janet. Brian, but she only liked you for your cookies. Stewie, okay, what about the babysitter I had a church on? Brian, yeah, but you killed her boyfriend and you round her babysitting job? I think they mean ruined. Stewie, okay, what about you had lots of girls that didn't, that, no, no, that didn't last long? Hmm. Okay, this is how they spell didn't. Ay, 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 ay. Brian, well, there was Jillian. Stewie, yeah, but she dubbed you for a uh, has guy or has gay. Brian, okay, what about Lauren Conrad? Stewie, yeah, but then you gave her worms. Brian, okay, what about Caroline? Stewie, yeah, but she dubbed you too. Brian, okay, I see you're poet, but how does this help Roger? You should have a question mark and not have it end as a period, and that's not how you, that's supposed to be point, not poet. Stewie, oh, sorry about that, Roger, I didn't know. Again, they spelled didn't wrong. Roger, but that's okay, I guess I have to figure it out, which is one word, by the way, for myself, so how shows? Brian, well, we have one more... Wait a minute. Well, we have on more episodes to do, then we are done with season eight. Don't you mean one more episode to do? And if it's one more episode, episodes should not be plural. Carmen, well, we have to finch season 14, so haha. -ha. I think the word finch should be finish. While South Park characters were fitting with Family Guy characters, Roger Rabbit drank his Coke then he toked to Cosmo and Wanda. They send that their show is running a little slow, but maybe things will pick up. They have pick up as one word. With Nickelodeon, Bugs Bunny, and Daffy Duck send that we're trying to get their show back on kids. WB, the angry video game nerd and nostalgia critic were toking about they like to review games or old movies, old TV shows. They shouldn't even be in this fanfic. They're not even cartoons, so why the hell are they in this fanfic? Poor Roger Rabbit didn't want to talk about TV shows. Oh, and every time they show the word talk, this is how they spell it. It's pretty much cock without a C, but replaced with a T. He just wants to help, so Roger Rabbit was thinking of someone to ask him to ask them. He got the idea. He knew who could help him. The one person. Okay, this is how they spelled person. It's supposed to have an E, not an A. That got him out of trouble. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How could you spell trouble like that? How, how, how? T-U-B-U-L-E is not how you spell trouble. It's not. A refresher. This is how you spell it. The last time he was framed, that person was Eddie Valiant, the privet. I deceive a good pail of his. So Roger Rabbit finished his coke, said goodbye to his friends. So Roger Rabbit went to Eddie Valiant's offices and knocked on the door. When the door opened, there stood not Eddie, but Dolores. Dolores, hi, Roger. What are you doing here? Okay, it should have a question mark, not a period at the end of that. Roger, hi, Dolores. May I come in? I need to talk to Eddie. Dolores, okay, Eddie, Roger is here to see you. And the R in Roger should be capitalized because it's a name. Eddie, hi, Dolores. How are you doing today? Wait, why is he saying hi to her if she was already in the room with him? I don't get it. Dolores, hi, Eddie. Roger Rabbit wants to talk to you. Didn't she just say that? Eddie. Ho, 
Okay, hi Roger Rabbit, how was your day? What are they, like related to Tommy Wiseau? Roger Rabbit, not good Eddie. Hi, hey, or do you think we can talk in private please? Eddie, okay Roger, I'm Dolores, can you go outside for a mint please? They mean minutes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dolores. Okay, Eddie. Eddie, thanks. Eddie, okay, Roger, tell me the whole story and don't skip on the details. Roger, okay, Eddie, well, it all started when I was going to work and I saw... Okay, this is how they spelled saw. It should have an A, not an O. The trick's rabbit, and he won't to do my cartoon for me, so I left the studio, and the next day, R.K. Maroon said that I was fired. Now, I don't know what to do. I can't tell Jessica. I'm in, deep, I'm in big trouble, Eddie. You have to help me, please. I am scared, Eddie. Someone is out to run my career. Please, Eddie, you have to help me. That was all one gigantic sentence, by the way. Eddie, okay, Roger, I'll go down to the Maroon Cartoon Studio today. Talk to your boss, R.K. Maroon, so you can stay with Dolores, okay? Roger, Jeepers, thanks, Eddie. Eddie, hey, no prelim? 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 Problem. Problem. Not prelim. Problem. Pra-lim. With an O and an E. Not an E and an I. Hey, no problem. It's the less I can do for a tune. <clears throat> so while Roger stayed, this is how they spelled stayed. That's not how you spell it. That word, um, let's continue. So while Roger stayed with Dolores, Eddie went to Maroon Cartoon Studio to have a chat with R.K. Maroon. When he got there, he saw the mess. He wondered why R.K. Maroon was mad at Roger. Eddie, hi, Mr. Maroon. I was wondering if I could talk to you for a mint. R.K. Maroon. Sure, Eddie, what about? Wrong, sure. They use the she the seashore, not the shore shore. Eddie, well, way did you fire Roger? Don't you mean why? R.K. Maroon. Way, I tell you way, or better yet, I'll show you, come with me. Eddie, okay, and may I look for clues while I am here? If it's supposed to be a question mark, if it's, no, 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 if it's, if it's supposed to be a question, have a question mark and not a period. R.K. Maroon. Okay. Go ahead. Don't you mean go ahead? I don't care what you want. Eddie, thanks, R.K. Maroon. Don't worry, I'll get to the bottom of this. Well, Eddie was looking for clues. Well, he saw some stuff that was round, but Eddie thought that Roger Kant... Seriously? Seriously. Seriously. This is how they spelled can't. How could you mess up with that? I mean, can't. Not that hard. C-A-N apostrophe T. <sighs> Roger can't have done this sort of thing. Roger can be a little bet dumb. That's not how you spell dumb. But he was funny, then he saw some fingerprints, but they were coned of big. 
Is that supposed to be kind? Oh my god. Does this word, coned, look anything like this word, kind? They don't look anything alike, do they? No. So I don't get how you could mistake cone for kind. Let's continue. Kind of big, and then he spot a pant bra brash. Don't you need paint brush with some pink paint? Now, Eddie thought, way would somebody do this to Roger? So then he went back to his offices. Is these characters really this stupid? I mean, hello, it was obviously the Trick's rabbit. That should have been the first thing that Eddie thought of the second that Roger told him. I mean, I can understand Roger not thinking the Trick's rabbit was doing anything bad, but Eddie should have known. Let's continue. Eddie, hi, Roger. I went back to the studio and found that there was a imposter. Don't you mean an imposter? Not a imposter. An imposter that was out for your job, but I don't know who it is yet. It's the Trix Rabbit. The Trix Rabbit. The what are we going to do now, Eddie? Eddie, well, I think you should stay with me until we find out who is doing this. I'll have Dolores make up the guest beds. Don't you mean guest beds? Roger. Thanks, Eddie. You are a real pal. And you don't need an extra L at the end of pal. It's just P-A-L, not P-A-L-L. -L. That night, while Eddie and Roger were getting reading for... We're getting ready for bed. Roger was a little bit sad. Eddie, what's wrong, Roger? You seem upset. What's wrong? You just asked him what's wrong, so why are you asking him twice? At least they have a question mark, though. Well, Eddie, I'm scared to think someone might. This is how they spell bite. M I T E is not how you spell might. This is how it's spelled. I shouldn't have to be showing these little pop ups at the bottom of my episodes to let you guys know how these words are spelled because most of these words should be common sense about how you spell them. I mean, I tried not to get all down about the grammar when I first started to read the story, but seeing the grammar seems to be getting gradually worse as the story goes on, it's kind of hard for me to not ignore it. So let's continue. I'm scared to think someone might dip me or something worse. Eddie, well, don't warring, Roger. I bet well fied the gay who did this. Roger. Gee, thanks, Eddie. Well, good night. Eddie, good night, Roger. While every budding was asleep. <laughs> what do you mean, every buddy? Buddy? Not every buddy? What are they, flowers? Okay. While every body was asleep, and asleep should be one word, not two, Roger was having one of those dreams where this is how they spell where w-a-r-e that's not how you spell it he was walking into a cemetery but not just any cemetery it was a cemetery for older lost cartoons he saw lots of graves of old cartoons then he saw a shadow coming towards him and then called out for him shadow hello wa hello roger i want to talk to you roger who's there shadow coming into the light it's me, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Roger, oh hi, what? Oh my god, I swear. It is like inspired by Tommy Wiseau. Oh hi, how are you doing today? You're tearing me apart, fine thick! Let's continue. Oh hi, Oswald. What are you doing here? Oswald, well, I'm here to tell you that you've got to find this guy before he gets away. Roger, gets away with wit. With wit? Don't you mean with what? And Roger, Roger's line should be next line, not in Oswald's line. Oswald, well, you see, I know about the Trix Rabbit and his plan. Roger, you do. No question mark, it just says you do. Oswald, yes, I do. You see, before I was a cartoon star, I had a addition 
Okay, first of all, that should be Anne, and second of all, that's the wrong... Uh, that's the plus... That's wrong addition! Jiminy frickity doo da frickity fuck fuckity fit da blah blah blah. This story is so. Uh, it's making me make up words. Let's continue. I had an addition to be a cartoon, a serial mascot, but then that Trix Rabbit came and stole it, and I was not mad, Bucks. Don't you mean but? I was going to have my one cartoon, but then Mickey Mouse came and the kids need to forget about me. That's way I came here to tell you you need to stop him before he dips all the cartoons. Roger, no, he can't do that. All fans need me. Please, Roswell, help me. Roswell, no, Roger, this is all you need to do on your own. Roger, well, okay, I will do it. Don't you mean I will? Do it for all the cartoons, Oswald. Good for you, Roger. Now you need to wake up. Wake up should be two words, not one. Roger, okay, bye, Oswald. Thanks for your help. When Roger walk up... When Roger woke up, it was 12 a.m. midnight, so then he went to wake up Eddie. Oh, boy. Roger, wake up, Eddie. We need to go, so put on your hat and coat and let's go. Eddie, okay, okay, I'm up. What's going on, Roger? Roger, no time. We have to go to the cereal factory before it's too late. Eddie, too late for what? Roger, I'll tell you when we get there. Now let's go. Then Roger and Eddie went to the car. Well, can guess who was driving the car? Well, I'll tell you it was Roger. Yes, that's right. Roger Rabbit was at the wheel and the one can only guess that Eddie is saying right now. Okay. Eddie, Roger, can we slow down, please? I think I'm going to be sick. Roger, no time to be sick. We are here. Eddie, good. When Roger and Eddie went inside the factory, what they saw was that the factory was so old and run down that it seemed that no one had been there for years. Eddie, well, we're here, so where is the Trix Rabbit? Roger, I don't know, Eddie. Why is there a question mark there? And you use the wrong where again. And it should say, well, we are here, not we're, we're here. Trix Rabbit, where are you looking for me? I guess the Trix Rabbit is supposed to be speaking. The thing is, there's no colon separating Trix Rabbit from where are you looking for me. Eddie, yes, and you are under arrest. This is how they spelled arrest. Uh, arrest. That's not how you spell it. Let's continue. Trix Rabbit. No, Eddie, it seems that I got you Snap, Crackle, and Pop Tack. These two to the back of the factory. I have a little surprise for Roger, Rabbit, and Eddie. Well, when they got to the back of the factory, they saw the biggest dip machine in the world. Roger. Heh <laughs> how did you get that? Trix Rabbit. Well, Roger, let's just say I got it from someone. Roger. Gulp. You men judge doom. Don't you mean you mean Judge Doom? And shouldn't you have Gulp separated by like little stars so you know it's, it's supposed to be him going like... <sighs> Trix. Way yes him. I thought he was dead. Roger, so what is your plan? Trix Rabbit, well as you know, as you most know that I love Trick cereal, but those stupid kids... Okay, this is how they spell those. That's not how you spell it. Stupid kids won't let me have the cereal, so if I can't have the cereal, I won't let the kids have their cartoons. So when I get red, no, when I get wrong, it's supposed to say red, not read, of cartoons, the kids will have to give me the cereal to me, ha ha ha, and now test my dip machine on you, so bye bye, and as for Eddie Valiant, you are going to be dead. That, okay, D-A-D-E-D -E -D is not how you spell dead. It's supposed to be D-E-A-D. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be like spelling the word it wrong. Then the cereal mascots were talking about the Trix Rabbit and his plants. And where, where the hell did they come from, anyway? Lucky, well, I don't know about this. I think it's a bad idea. What do you think... Tony the Tiger. That should be all capitalized because Tony the Tiger is a name. 
Honey the Tiger. Well, I think it is stupid. Just Bex the Trix Rabbit. Just Bex? What do you mean by Bex? Don't you mean just because the Trix Rabbit wants to get some Trix cereal? <sighs> Two Can Sam. Well, I think we should do something. Sunny, I got an idea. All we have to is somehow getting all the kids in different. This is how they spell different. Cartoon Cat. Carters? Carters? Whatever. To help us. Two Cats in. Hey, I got an idea. Want about TV announcement or PSA announcement? Lucky, yeah, but nobody which those anymore. Toucan Sam. But we'll make theme lesson. Okay, this is how they spelled lesson. Or, no, no, listen. And then we'll give them to rescue us. Lucky. But how are we going to do that? Toucan Sam. Oh, I forgot to tell you that this factory also has camas. I think they mean cameras that is hot on walls and there is control room that controls the TVs in the world. Tony the Tiger, yeah, so what? Toucan Sam, well, what we can use that control room to get help? Tony the Tiger, that sounds great. Lucky. Okay, let's go, guys. So then they went to the control room and stared working on it. Don't you mean started working on it? First they got a message across to Dimsdale, South Park, Family Guy, and all the kids, even the Nostalgia Critic, Angry Video Game Nerd, and Road Rovers. They, those two shouldn't even be in this story, for God's sake. Timmy, stop right there. That's not how you spell right. It's spelled R-I-G-H-T, not R-I-T-E. Where Trix Rabbit were here to stop you and save Roger Rabbit and Eddie. Trix Rabbit, oh, ha, oh yeah, you and what army? They added an E in ARMY, so they have it spelled R-E-M-E-Y, and that's not how you spell it. It's R, no, no, it's A-R-M-Y. Timmy, this ARMY, an army of tunes and critics, kids, angry video game nerd is here to stop you. Trix Rabbit, well, guessed what I have guards and big guard dogs. Cosmo, you are so evil, Trix Rabbit, and you, us, to be so nice, and now you won't to drip Roger Rabbit. Well, that is not nice. Well, duh. Trix Rabbit, well, I don't care, and I hate cartoons. Wanda, I agree with Cosmo. Why can't you have an, why can't it just say agree? Why do you have to have it say agree? That's not a word. Trix Rabbit, lesson, you don't know what it's like to be teased by kids for tricks. Nostalgia Critic, you know I just to feel sorry for you when I did the top 11 serial mascots, but now I know that you are a jerk, right, ABGN? ABGN, yeah, you big loser, and I don't even eat cereal. Trix Rabbit, well, okay, but you know what, I didn't like your game review so hot. Huh? ABGN, oh, when I get a hold of you, you are going to be, you're, you are going to be one eating dog poop. Oh, Trix Rabbit, oh, I'm so scared. Well, bring it on. Well, the battle was on first thing that happened was the ABGN took out the power glove and stared to punch all of the dogs out and put them in the dip. And then one of the kids let Roger Rabbit out. Thanks, kids. Send Roger Rabbit with a small... A small what? Then one of the road rovers decide to you'll use muzzle. Okay, that's not how you spell use. And you want to know what muzzle does? Well, let's just say it's not pretty when Nostalgia Craig picked Picket up Trix Rabbit by the ears. It threw him across the room. Then Brian and Stewie can't cam. You need an E at the end of that to make it say came. Running and mad, the Trix Rabbit fell on the floor. Then the Trix Rabbit was mad. Trix Rabbit, why are you doing this to me? I thought you all liked my cereal. 
Um, you're planning on murdering them all. That's why he's doing... That's why they're doing that to you. Carmen, well, guess what? We don't. Stan, yeah, and Dud, you need to get a life. Kenny, hmm, 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 hmm. Kyle, hey, Kenny is right, Trix Rabbit. You are not so nice to us. Trix Rabbit, oh, yeah, Will, who is going to stop me? Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny, please get out of this story. Please, please, go, go away. I do not need my image of you ruined by this story. Please go away. Go away. He's not going away. He's in the story. Nah. What's up, Doc? Trix Rabbit, Bugs Bunny, what are you doing here? Bugs Bunny, I'm here to stop you, Trix Rabbit. Trix Rabbit, stop me way. Bugs Bunny, be cut. they spell because. That's not how you spell it. That doesn't even look anything like the original word. It looks like the two words Beck and Us, if Beck even is a word, merged into one saying Beckus. Oh, let's continue. Because you want to dip Roger Rabbit in all the tunes, Tricks Rabbit. So what are you going to do about it? Bugs Bunny. These kicks. Kick. Bye bye, Trix Rabbit. See you never. So then the Trix Rabbit flew through. No, flew through the the air and into the dip. Then Eve Buddy cheered. Anyway, well, we did get we did it, Roger. We won all the cartoons are safe thanks to you, Roger Rabbit. Well, hey, I had a little help. Thanks, guys. And I would like to thank. Nostalgia Critic and ABGN. Nostalgia Critic, oh, need, no need to thank us. ABGN, yeah, we are just doing our job. Uh, our, don't you mean our jobs? Not our jobs? Oh, jeez. Roger Rabbit, well, just to say things, I bought you both a present. When did he have time to buy them a present? And that's not how you spell buy, by the way, or bought, whatever. ABGN, cool, Nostalgia Critic. Okay, what is it? Roger Rabbit, well, I... I bought something for each of you, like, for the Nostalgia Critic, I bought you a copy of my movie, Nostalgia Critic G, thanks Robert to Rabbit, I will review it someday. I would not want him to review it because, because I'd be afraid that he would ruin it. No offense to you, Nostalgia Critic, but... Roger Rabbit, Angry Video Game Nerd, I bought you my computer game called Hair Raising Havoc and is good one too. A B G N, cool. Thanks, Roger Rabbit. I will play this soon. Roger Rabbit. Well, me and Eddie have to go. Don't you mean Eddie and I have to go now? Kid one, do you have to go, Roger Rabbit? He just said he had to. Roger Rabbit. Yes, I think so. Well, Eve thing was okay until they show they saw someone coming. It was Dolores in a cop car along with Jessica and Bonkers and all of the tunes. Jessica. Oh, Roger, darling, I'm so glad that you are not dip. Okay. Roger, Rabbit, thanks, Jessica, and I love you. Jessica, oh, Roger, I almost forgot I tacked your boss and he send that you are back on. Roger, Rabbit, feeling cool. I'm so happy. I know I just saw a bunch of grammar mistakes, but I'm not going to bother. I just want to get this over with. Bunkers, and that's not all because I talked to one of the writers at Disney and they send that in 2012 they are going to bring back to Disney and maybe you can star in it. Roger Rabbit, wow. Now I'm really happy, but what about the trick cereal? They don't have a mascot for the cereal. What's going happen now? Eddie, well, Roger, I talked to the guys at the cereal company and they said that they won't need you, that they want you. Roger Rabbit, thanks, Eddie. Come on, Jessica, let's go home. Well, Roger Rabbit got his show back and now he is the star in cereal commercials. And let's just say he is doing a good job of it, too. The end. Oh. My. God. <laughs> this story had potential. It had potential. But you want to know why it was ruined? Well, 
I think we all know the answer to that. The grammar, the layout, and some of the things that happened in the story were bad. The grammar just seemed to gradually get worse as the story went on. The layout made it very hard to read. It shouldn't have been in script format. It should have been written out like a normal story would be written out. And it was just bad and it just didn't really make any sense that the that, you know, the Trix Rabbit would be this evil and conniving. It doesn't make any sense at all. It had potential though. I mean, you know, it was sort of enjoyable to read, but because of the layout and stuff, it just wasn't that great. But people, this is why you have peers read over your fanfics to let them know whether they're good or not. And seeing this fanfic technically isn't published on fanfics.net yet, I'm going to hope that the author, horror fan, listens to my advice well and, you know, has either rewrites it themselves or have someone rewrite it for them so the story will actually be pretty decent if they ever do put it on fanfiction.net. But, you know, putting the story on there like this would not be a good idea because, you know, it's just atrocious. The layout's atrocious. It, 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 it needs a lot of work. Let's put it that way. <sighs> well, I'm the fanfic critic. I read it. You listen. I'm going to watch Who Framed Ro Roger Rabbit. <laughs>